So Sega has bought Index, the parent company of Atlas. This is old news to us now. But here's something I just, I just loved reading this the other day. I think this is fantastic. That the chief operating officer of Sega Sammy, who is now put in charge of Index, has said that Atlas is totally free to use some of the old Sega dormant IPs. IPs, uh, you know, from Sega that haven't been used for a long time. Things like the Sakura series, Skies of Arcadia, and also, you know, Valkyrie Chronicles, all that kinds of stuff. So here's the thing, guys. I got real, I got really excited when I was reading this, thinking about all the possibilities of all the dormant, I, I, you know, IPs of Sega over the years, all the ones that are buried that we've never heard about. And my mind just starts to have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna ask you the question. What old IPs of Sega would you like to see Atlas take a shot at? There's so many. <laughs> what was one of the funny, and okay, some of mine are hilarious. Could you imagine another Golden Axe? I know they tried to bring back old Golden Axe and failed miserably. But just the idea that we can get some older Sega games coming back. A Skies of Arcadia game done by Atlas? I just, your mind boggles thinking about the coolness that could happen. And I really, hope Sega and Atlas together can really work well and do something so fantastic like that to, to bring some things back. I I don't have like high hopes for a Shenmue brought back by Atlas. That would just be strange. And, and that's also the thing, you gotta be very careful uh, how you do it. Like, I know for a fact, I just know this is gonna happen. In the next Persona game, you're gonna see a Sonic suit somewhere in there. It's gonna happen somewhere, right? I just, you know, a Teddy in the future ripped off you know, tears down his outfit and there's Sonic in there. I, I, I just see it happening. It's gonna happen, but... Oh man, just Alex Kidd brought back from the dead? Could you could you imagine? I, I, I'm I excited about the news. I I haven't been a big fan of Sega in the last few years, you know, especially having them, you know, them removing my video and all that kinds of crap over Bayonetta. But I, it's really, I still have a bit of hope for Sega that they can turn things around and I love Atlas as a company, so Seeing Atlas being brought in, seeing what possible coolness Atlas could bring to the table, it's 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 really an exciting time. I, I really hope it's a, a rebirth for Sega in a lot of ways, and hopefully uh, Atlas can really do some great things with some dead IPs. You know, Skies of Arcadia, I'm really leaning towards that. I'd love to see another, another Skies of Arcadia. There's been so many rumors over the years that one was going to come back, and well, you know, we know the answer to that, we still haven't got anything, but what old IPs would you guys like to see Sega, uh, you know, give to Atlas to bring back? It's 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 amazing thinking about it, eh? Like, your mind, you know, another Shenmue, yeah, you know, as I said, that's crazy. But the possibilities are, are really there. Another Streets of Rage game by Atlas? Oh, man. Yeah. Anyways, I could... A Streets of Rage RPG by Atlas. It's just crazy that we know the kinds of things I could think about right now. So, anyways, guys, I just thought it's a fun topic. It's really interesting to to imagine all the possibilities that they could possibly do. Uh, it's it's kind of nuts. So, anyways, guys, until next time.